What's going on keepers? Alvin GK1 here back with another unboxing showcase. In today's video, we have a release from the Callier brand from 2022. Now, if you're liking these videos and liking everything I'm doing on YouTube, then make sure to hit that thumbs up button and why not consider subscribing? Because I've got over 100 gloves to showcase to you all and give you a bit of history, a bit of background, and maybe some advice to help you with your future purchase or help you search for old pair of gloves that you like. If you like the retro gloves or just like gloves in general and you're a size 10 and a half through to 12, which is my personal size depending on brand, make sure you check out my eBay page. My eBay page is called Alvin GK1 and that's me across all social media platforms. So make sure you check that out. Any comments, any questions, greatly appreciated. Make sure you leave them down in the comment section. And with that said, let's get into today's video. Now this release is from the Callier brand. Now I know for some of my American YouTubers, um, AZ Premier Goalkeeping struggles to pronounce Callier, but hey, that's how you pronounce it. Kenny Arthur and Greg and the whole Callier team, they've been slowly, steadily producing hit after hit and at a price point which is very acceptable to the wallet, may I say. Now, every year they try to innovate and make things better and better and with this model, there's been no exception. These gloves were made in collaboration with England and former Man City and Celtic goalkeeper Joe Hart, who, as you know, has been wearing Callier for his few final seasons while he was up in Celtic before retiring in um, 2024. So no more Joe Hart, the goalkeeper. Now Joe Hart, the pundit. But that hasn't stopped Callier from continuing to re-release and release new colours of his model so i think that's something they're going to continue doing to go forward i've not actually spoken to the Callier team to confirm that but if you look at the previous drops that they've been doing in 2024 since joe hart retired there's still the jh pro model now these gloves are from 2022 these were the first joe hart model that they actually released and as you can see they come in this magnificent glove bag and that is a metal lo Callier logo. So you see this logo and all their gloves, when you see that logo, that's Callier. And it is a, a high quality glove bag, let's be fair. Not many brands are doing it like this, but this is one of, it, one of them. And at this price point, you cannot go wrong with Callier in terms of making sure you spend the right amount because glove prices now are shooting through the roof at over 100 for the top end main brand models. Now, got a little label here, JH underscore 01 underscore V123 underscore 11. Not sure what that means. I guess that's Joe Hart, volume one. And don't know what that means. 11 for size 11. Now, it also says JH personal 01 size 11. Now, I don't know if this model, this pair were intended to go into Joe Hart's personal collection or not, but size 11 is my size, hence why I picked that size. And that might have been the remaining stock they had at the time, but either way, I've got them. And these are the Callier Nitrolite JH Volume 1, the first glove drop. I believe these released, if I remember rightly, in this colorway and a yellow colorway at the time. I believe Joe Hart was matching his um, night boots with the gloves, so who knows? That might be the reason why they chose that color. Now, what I've always found with Callier and what I know, um, part of the original Callier team before Kenny got involved were graphic designers. So they've always had very cool striking, standout backhand designs. And um, this 3D printed on might be so, but it's on the backhand, it's like a, it's a, not a silicon material, but it's a material on the backhand. And these feature four millimeter pro grade, as you can see there, 
ultra charged latex, which once you peel off the plastic, good to go. I always personally pre-wash my gloves and always recommend to pre-wash your gloves just to get any factory powders, perfumes, or anything which might affect the performance of your latex off the gloves, out the gloves, so that the pores of the latex are open and ready to help you grip the ball. Now, some people spit on their gloves. If you can, try not to spit on your gloves because the bacteria in your saliva will help break down the latex and your gloves won't last as long. And that's, make sure you always wash after you use your gloves to get the pores clear and that way you can grip the ball. You don't want any dirt or mud on your gloves to dry in and then make it more difficult cleaning. Now these feature the 3DXI Plus Cut, which as you can see, if I'm showing it off nicely in the camera, is a hybrid cut glove. So flat palm cuts on the outside seams. On the inside, you've got two negative fingers as per Joe Hart's request with latex gussets, which means there's no fabric in between. So if you do suffer, some finger twisting in important moments when catching the ball, you've got latex there to help you secure the ball, make it more easy after catch. Now, before Joe Hart joined Callier, he used to wear the Knight VG3, when in the VG3, he basically had the same setup, more or less. This is before the VG3 cut ex patent expired, so this is a hybrid as close to that as possible that was legally allowed to be done, and he since stayed with this cut and it's been popular among goalkeepers where the two tight middle fingers give you control, but also the roll fingers on the outside, which are negative stitch until it gets to say the fingernail, then it goes into a positive cut, which gives you more ball coverage, just like a roll finger cut would do, but without the bowl kind of seams of the roll finger. And then moving on to the thumb, Got a nice thumb notch there with stretchy Leica material, which um, I forgot my words there, which will give you a bit of stretch, so prevent the old school thumb tears which used to get in this area before they put these notches in for all glove brands that was, not just Calier, before they put the material in, which gives it stretch but brings it back into shape and yeah. Now you've got a wrap over thumb, wrap under thumb, still with the graphics on, and then you've got a full latex wrist strap, which is something that I prefer. Always prefer a latex wrist strap. You've got only one Velcro fastening system, which is on the back hand, but you're gonna have a latex strap. Me personally, I prefer one here, and then one here, and then the latex Velcro strap there. So it gives, that's what I found that gives the most secure fit for me. So once you get your gloves inside, these are size 11 as I've previously said, this is my size. And these are very snug fitting gloves, very snug. I mentioned to um, Greg from uh, Calier, I would prefer the thumb to be slightly longer, just about say there, not much, but give me a bit more space because I seem to have very long pumps. So I could do with going, I would say, going maybe half a size up, so 11 and a half would probably be perfect for me in the Calier gloves. But with the plastic coating over the latex, it does make it a bit tighter before you get to use the gloves. So if I was to pre-wash these, get some more into them, it would expand, would free up and be a bit looser, but they are a very tight fitting glove. Now, Joe Hart's always been a fan of um, tight fitting gloves, hence why we have this created from his old school ombros with the barrel cut to the Knight VG3s where he wore a negative cut and the updated model. Always been a tight fitting glove guy. And if you like your tight fitting gloves, but are also a fan of a fan of hybrid gloves this is personally the one for you what you'll find with the negative fingers when you do get down to using them they will always wear here first 
that's just the nature of the beast with negative calf gloves because they're so tight around the fingertips wearing general wear and tear that is normal it doesn't mean you have a protective glove but I've always been a fan of mainly white gloves because they just make your hands look bigger stand out and I guess with size 11 hands they look even bigger and more imposing to attackers and it makes it easier to see when you're going for high crosses than wearing black gloves now I am a fan of this cup like I said, I would, I am right on the fingertips right there. So maybe I could do with a bigger size, ideally. I do love the strap, latex strap, nice and secure. A bit of function down on here, let me correct that. Now with Calier, their gloves are usually between 50 to 60 pounds UK. And at the moment, that is a great price point for such quality gloves. I can't see any uh, um, build issues, any quality control issues. That's very well made, very well put together. We do have a double stitch at the base of the palm. I could do it slightly longer with the palm, slightly longer. Just say if it went all the way to the base. But this is, this was the first model. I've not got the updated version yet because I still got so many gloves to get through, review, showcase, use. So I'm kind of full at the moment, but if I see good prices, good opportunities, I will pick up pairs of gloves. So stay tuned and look forward to that. What I would change and what they have changed is they put on the new model, they put a knuckle punching zone there. And this is the power light second skin on the backhand. So you got, see the dots, you've got that underneath and then you've got the mesh over top and then you've got the printed material on top so very lightweight it's not heavy it's not bulky it's a lightweight tight fitting glove with the security of a latex wrist strap and a top latex from what i've been told not used these ones so can't comment on latex but once you peel it off you're good to go but like i said always pre-wash your gloves so that is the end of my unboxing Look forward to showcasing more videos from UK brands, uh, worldwide brands, all the brands and that I've got are all varied. I don't just stick to one brand, but I do have more of one brand than the other. That's just normal, but I do like to try and see what's out there. Like I said, me personally, I could do with them being a little bit bigger, or maybe I should try a different cup, but to expect if you do go for Joe Hart's gloves, be nice and light but very tight fitting, snug and secure. That's Alvin GK1 signing out. And remember, hit that subscribe button and I'll see you again in the next video. Take care.